tulianzisha series on offense two weeks ago and today nitaka tuimalizie na tuone how now can we move on through offense yeah moving past offense yes and we looked at three kinds of offense the first Sunday we looked at um, you offend yourself by the mistakes you make uh, and you know what we we agreed that God loves us so much and he wants us to move past our mistakes all right so is in short i'm just encouraging you we encourage each other that we need to forgive ourselves and let go of the mistakes that we made this following sunday we looked at the the kind the the, the second type of offense that is uh, you'll be offended by people people will hurt you people will will do things to you that are gonna offend you but you know what it, when it becomes so heavy that you can't forgive them you run to the cross where Jesus was crucified and take the forgiveness that he, ga he gave you, take the forgiveness that he, sh he had, take it and give it to that person who has offended you. Because when we say that kuna mtu wa meku mistake, Jesus being crucified on that cross, being nailed on that cross was the grand master, was the grand kind of offense. You know, he, he, these people that he healed, these people that he did miracle with, these people for, these people that he raised from the dead, turned against him one day and nailed him on the tree, naked. That is the greatest, greatest kind of offense. But he was never offended because of these people. Remember God, Jesus was 100% man and 100% God. So he felt that pain, but he never held it against those people. He decided to let go. And what did he say? Father, forgive them for they do not know what they are doing. So if anyone offends you, what do you do? You run to the cross, take that forgiveness and give them, give to those that have hurt you and say, Father, forgive them for they do not know what you, they are doing. Because one thing that we agreed and established that offense, if we allow it to stay in your heart, it will grow into bitterness and bitterness defiles everything. Besides that, bitterness open a door for the devil to come into your life with all manner of sin and all manner of oppression and possession and all manner of things and if you read the book of ecclesiastes uh, the, uh, chapter 10 and verse 9 says whoever breaks through a wall will be beaten by a serpent in simple terms when you you hold that and forgiveness it's like you're letting your wall down it's allowing the, opening a doorway for the devil to come into your life to bite you so what, what is the solution to that? You forgive immediately. You f let go of the offense and you let go of the bitterness and you, so that you do not give room for the enemy. You do not give legal ground for the enemy to come into your life and do all manner of things. We are not allowing that these years. As, as you are not allowing that. Now, today, let us look at the third kind of offense, all right? Uh -huh. This one will shock you. This one will shock you. <laughs> how many of us, how many of us to share your beer, Mungu? Mungu's for the blessing, Nagari. Mungu's for the blessing, Nayobis. Mungu's for the Peleka Shule. Mungu's usipo, usipo, usipo ni fanya hi. Ah, by the end of the year, tunachana na wewe. Tunarabia na friends, as if God is your boss. <laughs> as if you are the boss to God unaambia God usponifanyie hiyo tunarabia na friends tunaachana i'm leaving this salvation thing wangapi ndo umesema hiyo by the show of my hands <laughs> so many i can see people raising hands in the studio but let me tell you so many of us have done that and now that brings us to the third kind of offense you will be offended with God when you are offended by God why? Because he has not done that thing you're trusting him for. <laughs> because the expectation is not his ways. His ways is not your ways. And we look at the story of John. Uh, because our main text was in Matthew chapter 11. So that you get where I'm coming from with this story of offense. Now it came to pass when Jesus finished commanding his 12 disciples that he departed from there to teach and to preach in their cities. And when John had heard in prison about the works of Christ, he sent two of his disciples and said to them, 
are you the coming one or do we look for another? Jesus answered and said to them, go and tell John the things which you hear and see. The blind see, the lame walk, the lepers are cleansed and the deaf fear, the dead are raised up and the poor have the gospel preached to them. Verse 6, which was our main focus, and blessed is he who is not offended because of me. Yes, when you're offended by God because he did not answer your prayer <laughs> the way you were expecting him to answer or he did not come through. So you are waiting for him to heal your mother or to heal your close one, your close person or to heal your loved one. But instead of healing that person, that person dies. Now you're offended by God. John the Baptist was very offended by God. Remember John the Baptist, the one who baptized Jesus and said, make way for the king of glory is here. Make way. He made the way for Jesus Christ. He baptized Jesus and ushered Jesus into the ministry. Now John the Baptist is in prison because of preaching the gospel. He's in prison. The Roman, the Herod had, had, had him thrown in prison, locked up there. And he has been in prison and is wondering, Ama nilikosea kubaptize ujama. Is he the one? Ama tunangoja mwingine. He was very offended. Did I make a mistake? John was offended by himself, offended by God. Are you the one or should we expect another one? Now he sent that message to Jesus Christ. He was offended because he was expecting maybe God to release him from prison miraculously. And that did not happen. And because of his offense, because that, he carried that offense in his heart, John the Baptist died young. He died in that prison. He never left. But God told him, blessed is the man who is not offended by me. Let me tell you, he, yo, the ways of God are not our, our ways. The way we expect him to come through for us is not our ways. Not the way, uneza kwa na imagination. I mean, I imagine God that come through heavy. And he will not come through the way you are thinking. He will not come even the time you are expecting. He will come unexpected. And how do you stay not offended by God? I will send you to 2 Timothy Chapter 2, verse 13, where I will paraphrase it that, it, that says, if we are faithless, those days we are faithless, God still remains faithful. You know why? Because he cannot deny himself. He cannot change. He's still faithful. So those times you're faithless, you're expecting, I, will God really come? He will come through for you. That prayer, been praying from January, unashanga kama God that come through. God will come through. I'm just here to tell you, don't be offended because God has taken time to answer your prayer and start doubting it. Don't create that offense in your heart. You're opening a door for the enemy to come into your life life another way another verse that i like that is this uh, in romans chapter one you say be confident in this be confident have that you be very very confident that he who began the good work in you will bring it to completion he that began and how did god begin a good work in you he knew you before you were formed in, ma in your mother's womb so he has a process he has a path just ordained for you he will ensure that you enter that path he has ordained for you as long as you have faith in god don't have faith in any other thing. Don't have faith in your ways. Don't have faith in your powers, in your skills. Have faith in God. He's going to lead you in that path because he knew you before you were formed in your mother's womb. So have you been waiting for something from God and it doesn't come through? Please don't be offended with God because offense brings bitterness. Bitterness brings stagnation, my delay. You will not move anywhere. But because you want to move, be thankful always. Be grateful always. That's why Niliazisha show. Nikauliza, una mungu wamekufanya nini, una mshukuru. Iyo to the fact that you've woken up today, be grateful for God. And you know what? With thanksgiving, that which you've been waiting for, he will come through for you in his time. Mm. in his ways because his ways are not our ways and i want to leave you this one statement you know what when it is impossible when there is no way i'm telling you our god is a way maker is the way he's the truth and he's the life he will make a way where there's no way because he is the way hallelujah Amen. i'm gonna leave you at that next sunday we don't know which series god will 
let us <laughs> will allow us to do. But I hope you've learned something. You're letting go of that offense. May God heal your heart. May God restore the joy in your heart. And let it be this be a turning around for you and for your life and for yourself.